Now I've just returned from a fantastic trip, spending a couple of weeks visiting the vineyards of New Zealand. Um, it's the first time I've been over for a while and it is amazing to see the progress the country continues to make. You have to remember that in terms of fine wine, bottled wine, New Zealand's industry is only around 40 years old or so. It started in the 70s and um, the vines are maturing, the wine making expertise is always improving and there's much more understanding of matching grape varieties to soil and specific site and location. So a lot is happening down there and making some terrific wines across the board. Now, in my visit to Marlborough, the great home of Sauvignon Blanc in New Zealand, and I guess the thing for which most people know the country in wine terms, I visited Dog Point, a really, really good producer who are organically certified and whose vineyards, all estate owned vineyards, run in the southern valleys of Marlborough, where the clay soils give a little more impact on the wines and where the sloping, undulating kind of landscape is a lot more interesting perhaps in some flatter areas. Now Dog Point are organically certified as I say but also have a very kind of hands-off approach to their winemaking using natural yeasts, minimal sulphur, no filtration and basically producing very hands-off styles of wine. And they make some great Sauvignon Blanc, some great Pinot Noir but this is my choice, their Chardonnay. So it's aged in French oak barriques and matured, only about 15% new though, and like all of the Dog Point wines, it has that lovely flinty character. This is a technique that, that can be derived from the soil the grapes are grown in, and also from some of the techniques that the winemaker uh, uses to make the wine. And it gives that lovely kind of slaty, gunflinty quality. It's just so attractive in a Chardonnay and in other varieties. But here, importantly, it is matched by the fruit and by the freshness of the wine. On the palate, absolutely bursting with fruit. Lots of kind of tropical notes in here, but also that lovely kind of fat, limey, lemony acidity. And that struck match, that flinty note continues to the finish, giving a mineral sense to the wine, a stony sense to the wine that keeps it focused and very driven towards the finish. Lots of texture too, the oak lovely giving a kind of creamy almond, oat milk in a character. A terrific all-round Chardonnay, seriously a great New World Chardonnay and um, well priced I think at t around 23 to 24 pounds. Now I know that's quite a lot of money to pay for a bottle of wine but we're talking classy Chardonnay here, something a little bit special and I highly recommend it. Available from a lot of independent merchants, that list coming up in just a moment. The Dog Point 2017 Chardonnay.